This is what winning at all costs means. Dude would have ran a marathon on one shoe if there wasn't a whistle. Anything for the win. And we saw the MVP as well going god mode and doing everything humanly possible to will the Nuggets to a serious comeback. Jokic on top. Dancing with Gobert. Three. He's putting together a masterpiece. On his MVP presentation night, Nikola Jokic absolutely exploded for 40 points on 68% from the field. And when you see that half of these are against the four-time Defensive Player of the Year in Rudy Gobert, it adds much more significance to his performance. And we even saw a glimpse of Nikola the Freak of Nature Jokic. And a good start. And a good start for Minnesota. Look at Jokic there with the finish. Tonight you drove and kind of put it behind your head. Where's that coming from? I mean, I had an open lane and uh, just, you know, I'm a freak of nature and... Uh, <laughs> and... and uh, <laughs> Why not to show my athleticism? It was a close game at halftime, however, and Minnesota came out swinging early in the third. Towns, it goes right down the lane and got his miss. Alexander Walker in the corner for Towns, resets, fires the triple, bullseye. Edwards will take it and finagling inside against the defense of Caldwell Pope. McDaniels, a spinner over Porter. The Wolves went on an 11-3 run and took over the lead. All this with their superstar nowhere to be found. Anthony Edwards was shooting 1 for 8 at this point, and I'm thinking to myself, he's about to wake up for sure, so they're in a good place. This game is going down to the wire, but boy, was I wrong. After the timeout, Denver returned the favor immediately and went on an 11 2 run of their own, which started with this fiery play by Aaron Gordon, as he was looking like he's never going to give up on this possession. He'll drive! Extra effort leads to good things. The rebound by Gordon. Jokic. Gordon off the side. Right there, Alexander Walker. He's free now. Rebound, Jokic. Down court. Murray. Timeout, Minnesota. And from there, it was MV3 who took over the game as he scored 16 third quarter points, absolutely toying with the defense and making some circus shot which left everyone speechless. A little Shaquille O'Neal because right now he's just dominating the bigs and the paint here of Minnesota. He's going to go right at Gobert. This is what he wants. 12 assists with Jokic. Accelerates and takes it down. He has made it personal, Kevin. The Nuggets built a 14-point lead after three quarters and were looking like they're in total control of this game. With Nicola on the bench early in the fourth, the Timberwolves' defense took a little breather and was able to make a stop here and there. It's Porter into Edwards' defense. Gordon, Porter, shot clock, four up, balance, trade. And with this dunk by Nas Reed, they got it down to 10. But here comes Nikola subbing into the game. Now, notice on these two possessions how Jokic attracts the defenders inside the paint, freeing up a ton of space for Caldwell Pulp in the corner, and a shooter of his caliber is deadly when left wide open. And all hell breaks loose when... Edwards has it, racing the other way, poked away, Caldwell Pope, here comes the big man! The Joker had the entire building jumping with him on this fast break dunk. All of a sudden, the Nuggets are up by 18. Man, this guy's presence is undeniable. Edwards did play better since halftime, but he couldn't do much either, as he was seeing a lot of double teams throughout the whole game, forcing him to make the pass. And the supporting crew of the Wolves was horrible shooting the ball in the second half. His ability to read is just uncanny. Towns goes by Gordon, kicks to Alexander Walker. Three-point shot, rebound by Brown. He hits Edwards, and again, the two come and meet him on the perimeter. It's been that way all night long. Reed with the three. Meanwhile, as if it wasn't enough already, Jokic delivers the exclamation point. Jokic on top. Dancing with Gobert. Three. This was an epic performance by Nikola, one for the ages, as the Nuggets shocked everyone by winning three games in a row. And in New York, MSG was absolutely rocking as the Knicks went on an 11-0 run to take control of the lead. And it's knocked away, and Turner turns it over. Here goes McBride, he blows right by Halliburton. Halliburton's man to set the screen. Now, Indiana's blitzing that, but that's opening up. Shots and opened up a hard three. 
DiVincenzo, knife to the basket. McBride right there for him, and it's a 15-3 Knicks run. Thing is, the Knicks could fire away freely because even if they missed, Isaiah Hartenstein was going to get the offensive rebound. In a mind-blowing display of will to win, he finished the game with 12 offensive rebounds. Unbelievable. DiVincenzo turns the corner, and DiVincenzo the foul! This is another display of the will to win, as Achua hustled up and down the court with the shoe in his hand, proving that every possession and every moment matters in the playoffs. And of course, the top dog of this team, Jalen Brunson, delivered another iconic performance. Chance points and add two more as Brunson able to drop it in. Brunson, wow, rock fake, and what a finish! 44 points on 51% from the field but it was the second quarter where he absolutely went ballistic with 18 points. It's funny that Indiana actually made things difficult for him. He had to work for a lot of these buckets. Double teams, half-court presses, you name it. But at the end, he still had a fantastic game, which to me was beyond impressive. This is his fifth game with 40 or more points in the playoffs, and he's got the highest point average this postseason with almost 34 per game. But even with everything going the next way, Indiana was still within striking distance down 15 at the break. And MSG got worried as Miles Turner dropped three straight bombs in just one minute. These two teams last met in the playoffs in 2013. As Miles Turner hits a couple of threes early in this third quarter. It is back in a big way. Look at Miles Turner coming out on fire here. But as a Knicks fan, I could not have imagined a better response as they threw an avalanche on the Pacers, going on a wild 17 0 run in the third quarter, blowing the roof off of the garden. Here comes Hart, finds Brunson, Brunson spots up for three. Got it. Here come the Knicks. Timeout, Pacers. Looking for a foul. DiVincenzo up ahead, McBride. And the Knicks. Off to the races! Knicks four here, it's gonna pop. Brunson missed it. Oh! It's officially popped! Steven Chenzo! An amazing follow! This became a 25 point lead in the blink of an eye, as New York completely blitzed Indiana, showing great energy despite playing a seven man rotation. And even after one last effort from the Pacers to cut into the deficit, Brunson saved the best for last. Jalen Brunson with four boards. He's got 37 points, seven assists, four rebounds. Drops Lee Smith. Brunson. And Jackson touched it on the rim. Count the basket. Wow, what a move by Jalen to pretty much seal the deal for New York, as they never looked back, getting just a win away from the conference finals. Despite having half their team injured, they're showing once again that they will fight to the end no matter what. We're seeing some incredible things taking place, but yesterday we saw something that wasn't supposed to happen. You gotta check out exactly what happened right here. Talk to you in the next one, peace out.